Yeah, we had Rock the Bells 2010, and we got a lot of surprises that we just heard about. One of them, 36 Chambers gonna be performed, full album by Wu Tang, the whole group. I mean, I mean, how does it feel, first of all, to be performing a whole album? Like it's it's almost like reunion, like, but to your fans that you know have been like thirsty for something like this. It actually feels good. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. Interesting to see how it turns out because we've never done it before, so. And it'll be the first time hearing an album live. I've right. never heard it live, right, so. Right. Now, when you do albums like this, I mean, I know like all your fans can like regurgitate so many songs, but y'all do so many songs. Is, is, is all of them just stuck in your database? Can you, can you just hear the beat? Can you just go straight into all the songs? Or you still well, gotta like do some refresher stuff on some of them? Um, well, it all depends, you know, what, like what, what because sometimes like, if you don't record like, like I've been doing liquid sword shows for a minute, and sometimes I don't. Some songs I don't do the whole song, and some verses I forget. So it depends on what you're used to doing and what you're out doing on the road. Because it's like it's just like if you recite something every day, and then you stop reciting it and reciting it, and you might forget it throughout the course. So it all depends on what the song is. I, I may not remember the verse for Seven Chamber because I haven't done it in so long that I might have to refresh myself. So it all depends on what it is and what the song is. You also dropped another surprise tonight. Talk, uh, let us know that you got Liquid Swords 2 coming out. When can we expect that? How does it feel like just to make a sequel to a classic album? Feels good. We can expect that this fall. Feels good. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about doing this album. I mean, I'm, I'm motivated. Um, I can't wait to, to see how it turns out. And um, I'm, I'm just driven to just make it happen. I mean, like, how many jewels, like, I mean, how often do you just drop, like, tracks and stuff in, in between your career, like, between these big albums? Like, how how often is, like, you just dropping shit like that? You know? Every every now and then. You know, I'm more, I'm more like an album every four years, five years type dude. I don't really try to oversaturate the market with a lot of stuff. And um, I, I pretty much pace myself. I'm not really out for a lot of, you know, Richards and... You know, it's not like I'm, 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 I'm out there just putting out stuff to try to generate capital or money and all that. I usually pace myself. I take my time. I lay back with it. I do it when I feel like doing it. And, um, and if, you know, if the window opportunity is still there, I, you know, I cease the moment and take advantage of it. And I'm, I'm you know, I'm grateful for that. And, and really, like, um, I know, like, when 36 Chambers and stuff came out that y'all was – inspired by like maybe other hip hop artists about a culture of moving. But now as 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 you've grown in in your career and we at this stage, is there artists now today that that you still hear like 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 give you that motivation to get like in the studio and, and record something or maybe like producers that's like making tracks it's that not, you're it's like not a lot of them, but it depends on sometimes what you're hearing. Like and it may not be hip hop. I mean music is inspiring in, in many different ways. Sometimes I can just be listening to anything on the radio. I could be listening to country music. I could because when when you have like satellite radio in your car at home, you know it's it's it's, it's a good thing because you can turn it to what you want to listen to. I can go to classical R and B, classical hip hop, and I can just switch it around. And, and it's always inspiring, depending on what you listen to or what what you hear at the moment. So you know you just take it as it comes and take what you can take from it and use it what you can use and then what you can't you know it's all good and bad you know depending on how you look at it well again we right here rock the bells here with hip-hop royalty jizz a hip-hop legend uh we can't wait to see here wu-tang i might i might travel to all four cities to hear this shit four times because i can't believe they about to do this and um i appreciate your time brother thank you keep on doing it man all right, right wu-tang forever jizz Peace.